What's up guys, welcome back to my channel y'all. So I'm gonna just pull some cards and get a message out for y'all. Um, I definitely do hope the message resonates with y'all and I definitely do hope the messages are useful, okay? I'm gonna shuffle the deck a good two more times for y'all before we get started, all right? Hope you guys are all staying happy, healthy, and safe. And yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it, all right? Can I get some messages to you? You got the Hermit card coming out in reverse. You got the Ten of Cups coming out. Someone could possibly get ready to break their silence when it comes to you. Some sort of... Yeah, you got the Seven of Pentacles coming out in reverse as well. You got the Five of Wands. You also do have the Strength. You have the Emperor coming out as well. Yeah, with the death. If you feel like somebody wasn't fighting for you at one point in time, I do feel like that could be coming like to some sort of end. Somebody is growing like the kahunas, the balls, the courage. <laughs> um, this could be a Virgo, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aries. What's this five of wands? What's the five of wands? Yeah, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Can I get one more? What's this five of wands to the ooh, Knight of Pentacles? You got the three of wands also with the five with the five of cups. 55 could be significant. Yeah, this is somebody who realizing they're procrastinating on some sort of like decision that's not working out for them. Like this is somebody who thought like keeping someone waiting, yeah, with the five of pentacles. Keeping keeping someone like waiting was going to like make something happen faster, make someone come towards them faster, but someone's realizing that that may not be like working for them. What's the seven of pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, with the four of, with the four of pentacles. Can I get one more? What's the seven of pentacles in reverse with the four of pentacles? Yeah, you got the chariot. It's like someone's, someone's like, not trying to move, not trying to move something. It's almost like someone's not trying to initiate something, hoping that you will be the one to do it first. You got cancer energy out here with this chariot. Yeah, with the two of swords um, in reverse. It's almost like someone's inability to make a decision. Because with the two of swords in reverse, it's like someone's... Mm. Like they're not even indecisive. Someone's deliberately not trying to do something. Like they're trying, they're they don't want to. And it's something about investing. Yeah, with the hierophant. What's this ten of cups? You got the judgment card coming out. Dream. You want to play with that toy? Dream. You don't want like your bone or something. Um. Sorry, uh, you got the judgment card out here with the Ten of Cups. Like, this is somebody who knows exactly how they feel about you or exactly what they have to do to, like, push something along, make something work as far as when it comes to you, but they're deliberately not doing it. They're deciding not to do it. But the King of Wands could definitely be an Aries, a Taurus, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Virgo. What's this Ten of Cups with the judgment? Yeah, you got the high priestess. This is somebody who their intuition is telling them that you are like their happy place, happy place. Or especially if this is like for a job or some sort of like opportunity, like somebody knows you are a best fit for something, but they are not trying to tell you that this is almost like someone who is not trying to give someone their praise, give someone like their flowers. Yeah, with the will of fortune. This is someone who does not want someone else to like take off as well. What's the hermit? Yeah, you got the moon. A lot of hidden feelings this person has towards you. Like, this is somebody who could literally be sitting right in front of your face as well. What's the moon? You got Cancer Pisces energy. Like, this person could sit right in your face but not really hope the best for you. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands. 
with the three of swords, especially if someone like grew distant, like this could even be a family member with the ten of cups. Normally, that it's the ten of pentacles for me, but the ten of cups could um, it signifies like some sort of soul tribe in my opinion, like you know a group of people that really love or adore each other. It could even be a workplace that really gets along somewhat well. Um, but yeah, this is somebody who is struggling to like save face in front of you again, especially if someone grew distant, someone you were like really cool with out of nowhere, you were gaining some sort of like success or things that I don't, there's something about someone like seeing you do well, hearing you do well, that's kind of, kind of trying to make them like back up because this person isn't like really as happy for you as they like come off. Like they never really been though. Like this is somebody who could have been there for like all of your struggles, but is really not there for like any of your like success to cheer you on. Like this person, mm. what's the emperor? Like, this is somebody who's deliberately trying not to, like, pay attention to all the good things that's happening for you. Like, they're not trying to do it in a mean or, like, really, like, honestly, like, blunt type of way. But it's it's something about someone being around. And, and it's, that's not even a bad thing either. You got the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to put that. I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles. But, um, like, yeah, this is somebody who is there. Mm. This is someone who's really not trying to give you like the flowers, not even giving like a competitive. This doesn't seem like this person is really trying to compete, but it does seem like this power. This person sees you in some sort of power. Um, seeing sees you as like confident right now. Like whoever this is, they're watching you do things or say things that they never thought you would do or say before. Like somebody who is finally seeing you stand up for yourself, like standing in your power, taking care of yourself, doing things that's. Like, this person is just seeing you not listen to, like, others' opinions, especially if, like, people were able to sway your opinions or dictate some sort of, like, way of living for you at one point in time. Like, just somebody who sees you grabbing the bulls by the horn and, like, trying to control, like, your own life. What's this Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you got the Queen of Cups coming out here. You got the Page of Pentacles coming out in reverse. There's somebody who does not want to... Mm help you with the six of pentacles give you your flowers as well with the six of pentacles queen of cups to the page of pentacles in reverse this is somebody who does not want to invest in you because with the with the six of pentacles the page of pentacles in reverse that would have been seven of pentacles this is somebody who could have like helped you or shouted you out or just Mm -hmm. even if you don't need it you didn't want it from this person support even like this person is someone who like fake falsely like supports you but they want to come off loving sweet this person could be a cancer party scorpio but doesn't have to be like this is somebody who wants to appear like they, they love you like they're for you literally with the sun could even be a leo what's this emperor you got the Ace of Swords. This is your energy. Whether you are a woman or a man, a man or a woman, you came out as this emperor energy. This is somebody who's seen you stand in your power. Again, you could definitely be an Aries. You speak some sort of truth as well. This is somebody, these are, um, this definitely does seem like people. Um, these are people who are starting to see that like you are standing in your truth. You're not really putting up with things that don't align with you. Like, especially if it gives you like the ick. It's something about an ick. People are nervous about icking you out with the three of cups, especially people from like your past. Like, especially, oh my goodness, People from your past, like old friends, even family members that you could have fell out with, um, people that you're not really close to with anymore, especially present day. These people are afraid that like if they come towards you, you are going to like look at them differently or like they're afraid that like it's something about them that's like going to turn you off or like look at them like you or like you're the disgusted one now. Because these were energies that I feel like made it seem like you were just. Like, it's an icky, like, feeling, like a crappy type of, like, feeling that now these people are, like, feeling. Sorry, I know <laughs> feeling was used a lot, but, um, yeah. What's this emperor with the ace of swords? You got the page of wands with the nine of pentacles. These people could possibly even be hearing about some sort of success is well word of mouth with this ace of swords nine of pentacles page of wands do text messages as well somebody is hearing how well you're doing someone's talking about it what's this nine of pentacles page of wands with the two of pentacles a conversation is being had about your stability as well your wealth where it's coming from with the temperance how at peace you are as well like somebody's wondering like who's doing it like if it's money helping you succeed or I don't, something about you being like at peace people are kind of even wondering like 
if you're seeing someone, if you're juggling, like people are just, ooh, you got a lot of people just assuming. I feel like that's where it is. Like these are assumptions. Especially like in a workplace as well. Like people are wondering like, why are you so chipper? Why are you so happy? You're so peaceful. What's this two of pentacles? What's the two of pentacles? You got the six of swords. Especially if you're managing, yeah, with the three of swords. Especially if you moved out of, I don't know what someone possibly like been through, but there's like a, a situation where like someone or like people were surprised that someone was like guided or removed out of a very confusing situation, especially with this two of pentacles, six of swords. Like somebody, you um, could have been seen as like someone who was very confused, didn't know like which way to go, which path to take, like who really liked the trust, um, especially with this three of swords. People feel like you, you, mm, like you are guided as well. I feel like it's so much more that I have to say. It's just, I can't put it into words. Like people really feel like they're moving on. Like it's actually like a really sad, saddening type of feeling. What's the six of swords? Because these are people who wanted you around, but didn't do it like in a proper way with the ten of swords coming out. Like these are people who did have love for you or for you, but didn't show it like in the right way. Like, I don't know what this is about. Like these are people who literally with the empress, who actually really do adore you, but for some reason, mm -hmm. like these people couldn't accept you in your true light. Like, I don't know, because they their light was like beaten and taken out of them. Like these definitely could be like older peers, older family members, older coworkers, even the same, like same age peers, no matter how old you are. But these are people who like their light, they feel like their light has been stripped from them. Like these are one... These are people who are going to like really, especially the people that grow. I don't know what this is about. Like you're definitely being seen for some sort of success. Um, again, I feel like assumptions really are being made. How you're making it some way, somehow, how you're able to afford something, how you're able to do something, how you're able to be just at peace and live your life. I feel like that is a, a major talk and people are trying to figure out, you know, what's doing it, who's doing it, who's helping you in a sense. Um, these people have seen you transform, elevate, move past different things, especially struggles, whether it was with family, lovers, friends, jobs, careers, whatever. These people have seen you come out like on top. Again, whether you are a man or a woman, um, these people seem to strengthen you. Um, they've actually seen you like be revised again. Um, um, revival, Selena Gomez, revival. Um, yeah, this is a yeah, revival. Um, and Killing with Kindness by a lot of Selena Gomez. Um, and who says. A lot of Selena Gomez coming out. Um, yeah, something about someone's like strength. Do a lot of struggles. Do a lot of like gossip as well. I feel like that someone was like the brunt of like people's jokes before as well. I don't. These are people again who feel like their light was stripped from them. People. Almost like use and abuse these people. So it's almost like anybody with some sort of spunk, joy for joy for just their own life, just pure happiness. You had certain people around you that just wanted to kind of not even feed off of it. They just wanted to like break it. I don't there's really like a breaking type of energy. I don't know. Mm, what's this ten of swords? You got the ten of what's coming out. Definitely could be family members. The knight of wands. And you have the nine of wands. And these people, yeah, these people are intimidated by like some sort of growth with the will of fortune, especially in money finances. Like these are people who could have seen you struggle, could have seen you come up, like you've hustled, you've done things. And this could be a thing where it's like you've actually found something that you're good at, something that you you actually is, can, is profitable for you, something, again, that you are actually good at, something that's purposeful for you. It's something about your success, money coming in. It's more so money. A lot of people are fixated on someone's like money, um, like what they can afford, what they can't afford. It's something, jealousy around money. And these definitely could be family members. Again, family members who wanted to appear like that they were better than you. I'm being completely honest, especially if this is revolving around family, cousins. These people are intimidated by you. They've always kind of been your energy, especially with the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Nine of, nine of Wands. You have a go-getter energy with the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. These people are intimidated by that. 
Your energy is powerful and it's just you, especially with that 10 of Pentacles, literally the two of cups in river, you don't need anyone else to kind of feed you or fuel you. These people, like these could be people who need like relationships to feel good, to feel like um worthy. Like these are people who need to be with someone, need people like around them 24 seven. Like you could actually live alone. You could do a lot of things alone. You could have like two to one or two friends, uh, maybe even like three real close friends all together. But these are people, especially with this two of cups coming out in reverse, especially when I said that 10 of Pentacles, nine of wands, because you, you are a force to kind of like be reckoned with. Because these people, even outside of family, people are seeing that you are, you are powerful. You pack a punch all by yourself, all with just like your energy, your presence when entering like a room is very strong. It's very outstanding. It's very noticeable. And you don't need other people around you to feel it. You don't need to piggyback off anybody. You don't need to steal anybody's work. You don't need to collab. You don't need to do anything X, Y, Z. You're fine all alone. Not saying that you have to be, but energetically wise, you don't need to steal other people's energy. You don't need to clout chase none of that. These people see it. These people see that you you don't you don't need to be with anyone to like be solely happy. Um, that's the thing too as well. Like this can be people that jump from relationship to relationship, but one relationship don't work work out. They already got somebody in their big. Like these are people who just can't be alone. They're never alone. Always have a man. Always have a woman. There's always someone they're talking to. These people are never alone. It's something signifying never. These people never being alone. Like these people don't know themselves, but they think they know you. Like that's the biggest. What's the two of cups? Like, these are people who kind of morph themselves and conform themselves to, like, those around them and to, like, their partners. Especially into, like, what these people, the, the people that they're around or their person, their per their partners, like, wants or, like, liking. Like, they, they morph themselves into it. With the king of cups, like, they, they max their true emotions, what they truly like as well. Like, they want to come off how they feel like their partners want them to. Does that make sense? Again, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. What's the strength card? What's the strength? Oh, yeah, you got the three of cups with the five of swords. Yeah, these are people who are still deceptive and still want to reconcile with you as well. It's crazy with the six of wands. These people feel like they can do it as well, especially if you're very forgiving. With the two of swords, they don't even second guess it. And I'm sorry if there's triggering, but it's. It's here with the stereo cups five. So these people feel like they can emotionally manipulate you into um, like reconciling with them. Even if you like stop talking to them, block them. These people feel like they can just come and go really out of your life. What's this three of cups five of swords? Literally with the queen of pentacles, you could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. These people feel like just give it up. They just give it some time. This person will blow over. Give it some yeah. These people don't look at you as weak, but it's 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 actually I'm not getting annoyed by the energy, but I kind of am because it's infuriating because it's just like, how dare you think like these are people who literally have no regard for other people's like boundaries once anything like it's literally these people are selfish as fuck. Like they only care about like them. Yeah, with the world. You could have definitely ended a cycle with these individuals. What's this death card? Yeah, you got the nine of cups. There's something about how comfortable you are. How yeah, literally with the four ones with the page of swords, you could have just moved. You could have just decorated your house as well. You could really like daisies as well, lilies, tulips. I think yeah, tulips. It's something about tulips. A tulip. But yeah, then these people watch you, watch your home. I would be very, yeah, especially if you did just move. People are going to want to just come over just to kind of see how you're living and be aware of that. Yeah, with the magician. What's this uh, four of wands with the page of swords? You got the ace of pink. Yeah, it's something about a new beginning that these people are like focused on that they're watching. Hmm. I'm gonna use this. Am I? Yeah. I'm gonna just close it out with a different deck, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> What's this Ace of Pentacles? You got 
the Fool coming out and the Three of Wands. Something that you have been waiting for, something that you have been hoping for. It is coming, some sort of new opportunity. Could be a job, um, especially with the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool coming out for it, and the Three of Wands with the Knight of Wands at the bottom. Something that you've been waiting for. You've been ready to press forward with whatever this is. It is coming. This could even be a new relationship, but I'm not really getting it. I'm getting like a new opportunity with the star. Something that's going to bring you some sort of like healing, some sort of fulfilling like energy as well. With the Knight of Wands still at the bottom. You got Aquarius energy out here. <clears throat> What's this new beginning? Yeah, a lot of jealousy, like competition, strife. Surrounding whatever this is, yeah, with the two of one, like whoever these people are, they don't want you to be chosen for something, they don't want you to be picked, they don't want you to be seen in a certain like light. Yeah, with this, with the seven, the eight of pentacles, excuse me, also as I open the deck in reverse, these people want to discredit your work so badly, but this could be a thing where these people can't even do what you do, like it's so weird, like they want to critique it or say something poorly about it, but these people can't go to this nine to five and do what you do for eight hours, these people can't juggle or maintain a lifestyle where you 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 have to work for yourself and you have kids like these people can't retail it. like it's these people can't be a doctor these people can't be a veterinarian like but they want to critique you they want to they want to have something to say so badly about what you do but cannot do it themselves <clears throat> literally you got the hermit card coming out here you have the these people talking in secret behind your back with the Hermit card, the Page of Wands, with the, when you are away, with the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Hermit, the Page of Wands, and the Six, these people, yeah. And they, they could even be wanting to cause conflict with you covertly just so you can get, like, these are people who, with the Two of Wands, still like reverse in the bottom, like, these are people who throw stones and hides their hands, like, these are people who would throw shade or try to make you feel some type of way or like do something to where only you would really feel the energy or see it and then it's almost like almost like reactive abuse like these people want you to react to them so that way they can say like oh i don't know what he or she is talking about or he or she is crazy or i didn't even do anything to them like oh they're tripping but like no these people know exactly what they're doing they're doing it in a way to where this is like not answering the phone or again throwing shade or bringing something up in an inappropriate like moment like these people want you to react so that way when once you do it's almost like a, oh my goodness so that way they can point the finger at you like i don't even know what you're talking about i didn't do anything like it's weird it's very covert like they're really trying someone's really trying to make someone like go crazy or like second guess themselves with the queen of swords could be a libra Aquarius, gemini Heavy Aquarius as well. And if not, you're just way too smart. You can see past this petty sh uh, this petty game that these people are trying to pull, these people are trying to do. With the Three of Cups, could even be those are closest around you with the Two of Swords. These are people that you question. And those are, if you have to question these people's energy, those are the people I'm talking about. What you got going on in there, man? Dream. What's going on? What you, boy? Yeah, with the four of swords. What's up, pup? Mm -hmm. With the will of fortune. Yeah, these people are focused on like your path, where you're going in life. Like they literally sit around and these people think about it. They ponder about it with the moon showing his face. Literally, with the Ten of Wands, these people don't want you to know this either. Like, especially if you, like, people just started disappearing from you or you hear from people a lot less, especially when success starts to grow. I'm about to end it, y'all, because what's this Ten of Wands? You got the two, y'all. Especially the people that you already had questions about. If you're questioning yourself about a certain individual, a certain group of people could be a group of two to three people. Um... The moment you're indecisive or you question yourself about a certain friendship, anything, like the moment you second guess how you feel about someone you, you have love for, nine times out of ten, you are correct. Like once your intuition, your gut is telling you something, please listen to it because it's, it's a friend, it's a family, someone in your immediate circle that you already question. Yes, this person isn't really as happy for you as they seem with the death. They want a lot of different things to end for you as well. It could even be a Scorpio. This person could even be younger than you. What's the two of swords with the three of cups? You have the judgment. And I 
feel like with the judgment, you know exactly what to do with the seven of wands. Please protect your energy from these individuals. These, these, mm. these people don't even have nothing to offer in their real life world. And that's why I feel like, again, that is where the jealousy, literally, that's, that's where the jealousy stems from. These people feel like you, you have a lot more to offer than them. And these are people who could not even sleep with you, could not even, like, date you. Like, these could be, like, feeling like these are people who are supposed to do nothing but love you anyway. But it's like these people act like or want it to be, like, some sort of competition as far as, like, I don't like stability. Like, who can take care of their family better? Like, it's weird. Like, cause these, again, could be people that can't literally with the five of cups, people that can't even really get with you in that type of like way, but they're concerned about you being able to take care of like yourself and a partner and like your own family. Like it's, it's weird. But, um, again, you have Aries energy. Um, you know, just, I would just be mindful with this energy, um, guys, but yeah, that was, I ain't even going to try to ramble or force it, but I definitely do hope the messages resonate with y'all and I definitely do hope the messages were useful. And until next time, guys, bye.